welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. I think I know where I need to go now. After uh, ending last episode on a slightly embarrassing note of being unable to figure out where the heck I go, I think I know. Let's give it a try. So of note, that is a pun and you'll see in a second, I figured out while I was looking up uh, what to do next, what note means on the configuration settings for this game. So if we come in here and we go to config, this note off half stay. You can trigger, or uh, excuse me, cycle through this by using the R1 trigger button. Off, half, it shows for just a couple seconds, and then if I click it twice, oh, whoops, that's my bad. Um, okay, so off, and then if you click it once, it goes to half, where it just shows for like a second, and then stay, it stays on. So that uh, that setting didn't end up being too exciting, but that's what it is. All right, let's see if we can Metal Gear Solid our way past these guards. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I think we're supposed to come out here. And continue on. Somehow. No? What the heck? Okay, now I'm very confused. Oh my gosh. It was right there. Okay. Okay. I see the door now. I am not sure how I overlooked that last time, but uh, overlook it I did. And now we can go. Sure is stormy here at my house tonight. I'm hoping I don't lose power partway through recording. That would suck. Oops, too late on that addition. If I do lose power though, at least I know where to go next time. So if I have to re-record, uh, I'll get to look like I know what I'm doing <laughs> instead of stumbling through. But when have I ever let that stop me? Never is the answer. I'm guarding with Shauna to try and get her HP back. And to give Lavitz a chance to use more additions. Got him. So hey, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet update. Uh, playing Pokemon Scarlet. I got my shiny charm last night. And if you know what that is, then you know what it is. And if you don't, you can just kind of ignore this part. Can I go down here? I guess that would be kind of suicidal. No, I'm not going down there. So shiny charm. 
Since getting the game on launch date, November 18th, I had found seven shiny Pokemon. Caught them all. Um, a pre pretty good amount for one in 4,096 odds. Uh, but you see so many of them in that game that you end up getting a lot of shinies just from sheer volume that process across your screen. And it doesn't take as long because you don't have to battle all of them. Uh, you see Pokemon in the overworld, and if they're shiny, you can see the different colors in the overworld, so you know if you want to encounter them or not. Well, I got the shiny charm, which gives each Pokemon a higher chance of being shiny. And, uh... Oh, I don't know if I was early or late on that last one. I thought I nailed it. So post shiny charm, I've gotten on uh, a lot of shinies. 14 in two days. Yeah. Not using any other methods. Just charm odds. One in, was it 1365 or something like that? Yes. Oh, it was very early. Oof. Can we please quit picking on Shauna? Good grief. Right. Oh, uh, so early. those Pokemon that I got in the last two days, I can't tell you about. They're endgame spoilers, sorry. But I completed a rare and fairly challenging, somewhat prestigious set of Pokemon to get shiny. I think I was late on the last one. So yeah, it's been uh, been pretty exciting. I also got uh, what other shinies have I found in the last few days? I got Pommy and Pomo, which are new Pokemon from the new games. Got Lichen Rock, which is a returning Pokemon. Corviknight, which is a returning Pokemon. Oh, and the Lichen Rock that I got was the um, is it Midnight form? The one that's standing up like a werewolf. It's super cool. Um, It's normally red and white, and the red turns blue. Ah, I love that. It's like a nice, like, dark blue without being super dark. It's just like the right shade that looks so good. Uh, one of my favorite shinies, I think. So that was really nice. All right, I go down to armed. Um, let's see you. Dart. Is this the sort of much worse. Okay. Um, I already have Lance Spear is way worse. Man, why am I getting such garbage items? It's weird. <laughs> I haven't used Hashel at all. Poor guy. Oops. That's, that's not what I meant to click. Shoot. What item did I have on him? Uh, oh gosh. Oh, it should be at the bottom, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Never mind, we're all good. I absolutely smell a boss fight coming up. But I think I'm going to hold on to the healing potions to use in battle, because I'll lead off with a special and have Shauna use her heal right away. Oh yeah, I can save from here. Now, because I'm a little nervous about the power going out, I'm actually going to make a secondary save. That way, if I have to go back and re-record this episode for some reason, power outage, then I'll be able to load from the initial save and it won't look weird. 
and I won't have to be like, so, uh, here's what happened, guys. Stumble explanation, blah, blah, blah. Sorry you don't get to see some of the content. The sun is rising. I don't remember what voice I was using for Froigel. It's good for you. You die and the war ends. That was your wish, wasn't it? You want to end the war, don't you? I'll make your dream come true very soon. <laughs> ah, I am vexed. Yeah, you would totally say something like that in this situation. It's unfortunate for Lord Dole, but I cannot wait for the one with the silver hair. I just want to kill you so badly. When I see the smallest glimpse of the sun, I'll cut your head off for you. King Albert. I won't forgive you. Tch. Those rats came on time. It doesn't matter. I'll get you all before Albert. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, this is a, a looking like a boss fight. Cool. Here we go. I was also reading up a little bit on advice on this game. And people were saying, especially with like Dart and Lavitz, but also with most of the Dragoons, you're probably further ahead to um, what was it? Not use magic. Because uh, the magic percentages are low. Like fire strength 25% all. 50% of your strength to a single target. Or you could just attack and deal normal damage. So why wouldn't you just attack? Rodriguez, Guftas, and Freikel. I don't know, Rodriguez kind of gives me more healing vibes than Guftas does. So I think I'm going to target Rodriguez first. And I got to do this crummy addition thing. I don't like this one. Oh wait, no I don't because it's special. That's right. Soft wheat. Alright. Oh yeah. What is that? So Take that's this. what That's what Freugel's supposed to sound like. Rodriguez! Attack! Would that move work since I can just fly? Revive and recover, 100%. I should have Rose with her tailbone laser. It seems like better healing than Shauna, if I'm honest. Did I just regain 66 HP? Was that it? I was missing like 100, wasn't I? That's, that's not 100% healing then. I feel ripped off. I do have to do the addition because not everyone's transformed anymore. Alright. Oh, but not for dark.
Hmm. Okay. I'm happy about that. was that? Didn't seem like it did anything. Rodriguez, attack! Alright, how are we doing on HP? Dart's looking good, Lavitz is alright. And Shauna's good now. Okay, Rodriguez is down. Now he take up. Whoa, take this. <laughs> so he just casually throws an entire boulder at my head. Alright, Goofus, your turn. Oh, hurry. Goofus about to get goofed on. Clowned on? Clowned into the ground. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna stop right there. Let's try getting some SP back on everyone here. Because if possible, I'd really like to transform. Uh, one more time. To fight Froigel once he's alone. I don't know if that will happen. I might end up killing him before that. Uh, we're all good on HP, so Shauna, go ahead and attack. Oh. Nobody saw me try to run away. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't bump that button on my controller. Oh, okay. 100 damage. And Lavitz is confused. All right, well, we're gonna use Mind Purifier. Yes. Also, Lavitz sure isn't getting very many turns. There we go. All right, successful Rod Typhoon. I always love seeing that. Only got two healing potions left. Um, we're gonna use it on... Lavitz is missing the most HP. Oh, now Shauna's missing a lot of HP. I don't like having to leave somebody with less than half HP, but I don't have that many healing potions, so... Gotta do what we gotta do. Ah, oh, too late. I despise it when they counter on the second uh, hit of Rod Typhoon. Okay, just pick on Shauna. Dude, come on. Yes, I am going to revive Shauna, if you're wondering. I wanted to get Goofus out of the way first. Less damage per turn to deal with. Alright, um... There we go. We're just gonna have to deal with being at no more than half HP. 
unless I have opportunities to guard. Maybe I will. Thank you for not countering. Okay, guard. Eighty-four, are you kidding me? What a joke. off Shauna. Oh my gosh. What horrifically bad AI. Well, I mean, from their perspective, it's probably fantastic AI because they're wailing on my weakest member, my one and only healer, who's in battle right now. Yeah, Rose can heal too. But like, boy. Got the counter, and then I was early on the last one. But yeah, what, what astoundingly great game design. Hey, let's make our AI pick on the weakest character player so that it's almost impossible to level them up. Oh, I love that plan. So yeah, if we uh, remaster this game, Sony, can you uh, fix that too, please? Yes. Or maybe it's my confirmation bias, because... Uh, Perhaps I'm just remembering the negative. My other characters are getting targeted, it just seems disproportionate that my weakest character gets targeted. But, you know, whatever. Well, she's not getting targeted right now. We're actually catching up. Ha! I did it. Got one with the counter. Yes, hit my tank. Thank you. Yes. Go. Early. Darn it. Yep. Just wait for that. Trying to get Lavitz up to 200 SP so I can do one more special transform. Shauna not healing the whole party though is really irritating. I can use healing magic dart, except I won't heal anybody. My spell sucks, and it's single target. Well, it's good, but it's single target. To be fair. Yes. Okay. We've got him down at least halfway. Nice. Nice. Uh, I don't want Shauna to use the special, though. I think I want Lavitz to use it. So that we get the most hits out of it before the special goes away from the field. You gonna have a turn, buddy? There we go. Let's do it. Alright. It's a first for the series. Two Dragoon transformations in one battle. And two specials at that. Look how in sync Shauna and Dart are. And Lavitz is just over there doing his own thing. 
What a great guy. What a goober. Unironically, I love Lavitz. He's... he's... he's a good... he's good. Okay, here we go. the battle? Is that it? Did we just win? Yeah, I guess so. Sweet. Sword. Lloyd. Lavitz. Lavitz, hang on. Hey. Is His Majesty Albert all right? Yes, yes. I see. I can entrust you with everything. Lavitz. Dart. Survive. And. Lavitz? Lavitz! Having to uh, voice these kinds of scenes while remaining quiet because my three-year-old is sleeping in the room next to me is... Uh... Sorry if it sounds weird. So anyway, do you guys remember how I was just gushing about Lavitz in that last battle? Yeah, this is, um, this is what made me quit playing as a kid. Well, I tried to play after this and I didn't like Albert. But, um, Albert's going to join our party in Lavitz's place. So we keep our Wind Dragoon. It's just not Lavitz anymore. It really sucks being uh, young and watching your favorite character in a JRPG die. Not being terribly familiar with JRPGs as a whole. I think my first one was, well, it was Final Fantasy V when I was a kid. So, Gallif. I mean, like a little kid. Like, I want to say I was 12 or 13 when I played Final Fantasy V. Yeah, Gallif. 
Yeah, if you've played it, you know. Um, but the first RPG, JRPG I can remember playing for really reals was Final Fantasy X. And in that one, like, the whole point is that the character who's supposed to die doesn't. You prevent it. And, um... I don't want to give any spoilers, but 10 is kind of an older game. The character who's been dead all along doesn't leave you until the end of the game. So I wasn't used to seeing my favorite character just get ripped out from under me. Um, and it, it was hard seeing that happen. And uh, the replacement, Albert, I didn't like him when I was younger. I think I'll be okay now. Like I, like I mentioned before, I've got more gaming chops. I, I'm more familiar with how to adapt to situations. But yeah, um, here we are at basically about as far as I can remember into the game. My least favorite part. But uh, let's keep going a little bit. Anyway, getting back to the game, Albert says... I still have some place for shelter. Uh, we can hide underneath here. I'll help. I cannot let you. Let me do it. When I'm moving like this, I don't feel pain. I wonder what that's like. Moving makes me feel pain. <laughs> For reals, like in real life. I'm uh, 36 and out of shape, what can I say? I owe you and Lavitz a debt of gratitude. Lavitz is no more. But we are still alive. Being alive means we can do anything we want, right? I think it is enough for now. I think Lavitz would agree with me. Hmm. <laughs> it reminds me of what Lavitz happily told me about you. He said that he had met guys he could finally call friends. Now I understand why. Dart, Shauna, Hashel, and Rose. Lavitz was my most loyal and strongest knight, and at the same time, he was my precious friend. Yes, he was a great guy. I'd like to show you my gratitude. Thank you. He was out of luck. I didn't know he had the Dragon Buster. If I had known it, I would have stopped Lavitz. Dragon Buster? What are you talking about? It's a weapon from the old world, made only to kill dragons. Even with the almighty dragoon armor, it's a mere shroud in front of a dragon buster. Lloyd, what kind of plot is he weaving? And who is Lloyd? So, uh, Shauna. Let's talk to Shauna first. We're not going to be like this forever, right? Your Majesty Albert, what did Lloyd take from you that time? I need a little time. I need to think more. Now it is more complicated than simply looking for your daughter. I am okay. I can go look for her some other time. But we have something we have to do now. You found the way thanks to Shauna, didn't you? The only thing left is which way to go. I feel sorry for making your company us into such a... I missed it. I clicked too fast. I am the one following you. Anyway, 
Basil will be finished soon if we don't do something. I'm looking forward to watching what you will do in the future. I guess I have to talk about it with you. The truth about what Lloyd took from me. Everything about it. <sighs> okay. Let's see what this is all about. The story goes back 11,000 years. Winglies who ruled the earth were defeated in the dragon campaign and disappeared. However, their sacred objects were scattered around the world. They contained their magic power concealed in them, which only they could use. One of them was handed down in Sertio, and it has been sealed inside the body of each crown heir because of the fear that the power could bring evil. The sacred object is the secret treasure of Sertio which has been taken. The Moon Gem. Where did Lloyd find out about it? I was foolish. I bought his intelligence and employed him as an advisor. Probably he was employed by Imperial Sandora. That's right. Once he obtains the secret treasure, he is the crowned heir of Sertio, both in name and reality. The birth of the Conqueror King Dole. That would be the end of Basil. His Majesty King Albert is still alive here. The war's not over yet. Basil's not finished. What is a king to do if he doesn't have a castle to go back to and a large force to protect him? Indeed, I am helplessly alone. However, as the dragoons of yore led humans to victory, we still have a chance to overcome. Sorry, Hashel. We have only one target, Emperor Dole in the Black Castle. You have such a daring strategy, but it's not bad. Let's do it. We can do this together. My iron fist might be able to help you. I will show them the full force of my lance, which I learned how to use from Lavitz. Lavitz, we won't let your death be in vain. Oh, that is blindingly bright on my monitor. Holy cow. Whew, there we go. My eyeballs. Okay, uh, Rose, switch out with Albert. Oh look, we've gone right to Shinra HQ. I mean the Black Castle. <laughs> I don't know why this place gives me Shinra HQ vibes. It seems Helena fell. Don't be so anxious. I got what I need. Leaving the girl at large is one of your schemes, huh? It's none of your business. Doesn't matter. I will soon hold sway over all Sergio. And your plan will be completed. No, it's just the beginning. Uh, Lloyd, okay. <clears throat> At least be careful not to get carried away. Don't be burned in a red fire. Nobody can stop me. I will not, even if I sell my soul to the devil. All right, well, we're definitely under the hour mark, but I really feel like this needs to be a break point. So we're gonna save here. This will be the end of this episode. It's a little shorter than usual, um, but like I say, I would feel really weird pushing on from here. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like on the video. That helps the video get noticed and the channel to grow. 
If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Legend of Dragoon every Monday and Wednesday, and on Fridays I do Dragon Quest Builders too, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and you'll be notified when I post a new one. Other than that, once more thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.